Liam Smith. Yes. Firstly, the opponent wasn't there at the presser. No, no. issues there? No, I've seen a lot actually on Twitter being sent to me. Um, he's here. He's an erratic guy. Yeah. Inside the ring, outside the ring. I don't know if you've ever met him. One day he wants to fight, one day he doesn't. He's on a plane, he's ready to go. I think it's a bit of mind games. I don't know if you watched his previous fights. He's sometimes orthodox, sometimes southpaw. He comes out swinging. He's not the most cultured boxer in the world, but he's got power and he's dangerous and he's reckless. And that's part of the character. He's, here, he's on his way, he'll be here tonight. Ben, it's a great card on Saturday. Yeah. Is the, there's a few fights that you could see stand out, but what, what is the standout for you, you think, as a neutral, as a boxing fan? What's the standout? It's hard to say because most people will look at the light heavyweight uh, British title between Dan Aziz and Shaq and Pritis. Mm -hmm. Just because high difference, yeah. both need this win, both hungry as hell. Dan didn't need this fight, but it just shows he, he just wants tough fights, if I'm honest. He loves fighting. So that's an obvious one. But for me, Tasha Jonas, yeah. is a, that's a tough fight. And the, Patricia Burgos, a genuine world champion, genuine 154 world champion, WBC world champion. She wanted the Hannah Rankin fight. She's actually got a tougher fight now yeah. at 154. It's a serious unification. We've got a couple of unifications next week with Shields Marshall and Maya Baumgartner. This is, that's a proper fight, this one. And uh, both technical fighters, it'll be interesting. But there's a lot on this card. I'm looking forward for Fraser Clark being back after what he did last time. Adam Azim as well. He's a Liverpool fan, so he's excited. So he's just got everything and a lot of local kids as well on the stream. And I expect it to be very, very busy on Saturday. There's obviously the Liverpool derby earlier on in the day. Liam Smith and Tasha Jonas are big figures in Liverpool. And uh, it's special. A few ales maybe during just the day. Just a bit. I think a, a few, few will get sung. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Go on. Yes. Yeah. Few. Look, yeah. Hopefully everyone behaves. I'm sure they will. <laughs> I know. But it's good. It's good for the city. Man, it's, it's a great stable you're getting now. Yeah. Is there going to be more additions? There's always going to be more additions, but yeah. I mean, are you content with the stable you've got now to start building champions? You mentioned Adam is one of the hottest prospects in boxing, not just British boxing, in boxing. How excited are you about this stable? You know what? I'm so excited because I, I, I'm a boxing fan in the sense that I was doing small hall shows and I would still go to the boxing and I would enjoy going to the boxing. So now to be able to go to these shows and be having an impact on the shows and choosing what's going on and things like that, it's, it's unbelievable. But I think, yeah, this, we, we believe we've got the youngest, the best young stable in British boxing. We feel like we've got the future stars. We're still looking for one or two additions. We expect to make some big announcements over the next month or two around that. We think we've now, we're now an attractive place for boxers to be. We think they, they, they see that, that Sky are thriving, they see that we're consistent, they see we're investing in British shows. There's a lot of promoters that have got a lot going on and they go into this place and that place and sometimes they'll do the odd pay-per-view here and not. We're pretty consistent now. We're doing a lot of shows in Britain. We're going to Liverpool, we're going to Bournemouth, we're going to Leeds, we're going to Manchester. We feel like we're the place to be. If you, if you want to become a superstar in British boxing, we feel we're pretty strong. But yeah, I'm just excited with the stable we've got, to be honest. I think it's incredible to be working with such athletes. And it's great for British boxing that there was a worry at some point that who were the next stars going to be, where were they coming from? We're seeing a lot of fighters retire, the household names. I think we've got a few here that, that can become the household names over the next two, three years. Now, you've been in this partnership with Sky for just over a year now. Yeah, and I, I'm it's sure. less than a year, actually, because our first show was October last year. Ah, but when it was when yeah, the deal yeah. was done, all yeah, right, yeah, fair enough, yeah, fair yeah. enough. But no, just over a year, you're right. Yeah. So, what's it been like in terms of your head spinning, the kind of downtime you get now? I mean, your life, how's it changed? No downtime. Do you get downtime? No I downtime. Was I, was just, <laughs> I thought I was going to have time off in the summer. Suddenly, we were involved in the Saudi thing. Then I was in Albania, straight back to Liverpool. Don't forget Bournemouth Beach. Bournemouth Beach. Sorry, <laughs> I did forget that. Bournemouth was great. It's relentless, but I love yeah. it. It's obviously. It's boxing, isn't it? It's competitive. We had no stable 12 months ago, so that was half a battle. Planning shows on three or four weeks notice. It was it was crazy. Um, but now, yeah, now it's it's like this is a dream job now. When you have when you have the talent, when you have the stable, when you ha can plan big shows like this week and next week, and we've got a ridiculous schedule up until the end of the year. It's relentless. It's competitive, but it's amazing for boxing because it is in a good place right now. There's so much going on. I would love to be a fighter right now. I bet you, like, there's yeah. the options that you have. If one promoter's not prioritizing you, you can go to another one. It's as simple as that. And uh, amazing time for fighters, amazing time for fans. Seems like fights are also being made now. There's a lot of complaints around fights not being made. I'm hoping that our impact has 
actually put the promoters to another level because they, they're nervous and not nervous, but they, there's competition now. Fights need to get made. They're being made quite a lot. We're seeing it. We've got Ben Eubank, Joyce Parker, Shields Marshall. We've seen it at the start of the year with Taylor Cattrall, Carm Brook. We saw, obviously, Usyk Joshua. We think we're going to see Fiora Usyk. The fights are happening. And uh, I think it's because there's so much competition. Better get your gloves back on, Anne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. tempting if you come back to Manchester. Our old Ching my shrink. Oh, by the way, got a, bit, a little bit of a beef bone to pick we on. Have. Manchester, Manchester, Manchester. And yeah. you said Liverpool, the number one UK fight city. I don't know, I know, I know. You know what? That was just Not for many them, people wasn't it? know, but I'm a Liverpool fan. Oh, even though I'm a man. I know, man. <laughs> It's my mum's my, my mum's uh, my mum's from Belfast and they're all uh, they're all Irish mad Liverpool fans so I come all the time so I had to slip that one in no but Manchester <laughs> we we got two Manchester Arena dates for the rest of it coming up Brilliant. I think Northwest is uh, is thriving it's been a tough time recently in Manchester and Liverpool yeah. with what's going on and boxing is a is a good way to to, to show what what can be done and. Um, yeah, Manchester is a, it's a close second, I think. <laughs> you, men you mentioned the Manchester Arena then. I know recently you made one of the biggest signings you could have made in Jack Cattrall. Yeah. Is there any news on Jack? And I'm guessing you're working hard behind the scenes to make a huge fight happen. Yeah, I think that fight will happen because both fighters want it. You yeah. know, people talk about broadcasters and promoters, yeah. but when the fighters want to do something, things happen and people yeah. get out of the way. Mm -hmm and uh, Josh Taylor's made it very clear with all his yes. vacating and this and that this yeah. is the fight he wants we know Jack wants a fight he's here on Saturday actually I think it will happen before the end of the year it's just, there's a few things around where it's going to take place and this and the rest of it but the fight's definitely going to happen it's a fight that needs to happen it's a fight fair play to Josh Taylor because he yeah. could have just he could have just walked on and gone up or done something else or defended his belts He's a champion and he wants that blemish off his record, he'll see. And, and Jack feels like he's got the measure of him now. So, unbelievable fight to come. And yeah, it should happen this year. And we'll catch up with you next week anyway. Yes. But just to give it a little build up as well. Next yeah. week, of course, you've got the all women's card. A couple of, you know, top of the bill fights, if you like. Yeah. It's hard fights. to pick which one I'm looking forward to more, really, yeah. on that. I mean, how's it all been for you? And how's, how's the O2? Has it sold out? What's the crap with it? Yeah, look, doing everyone. It was a statement for us because it wasn't like we're doing women's boxing virtue signaling this or that. We actually just thought the time had come where we had a main event that didn't need to rely on being propped up by a big heavyweight fight or a big this or a big that. And we have the girls in the stable now, the women in the stable with Lauren Price and Caroline Dubois and Karis Artingstall and Tasha Jonas obviously this weekend. And, and, and Marshall and, and, and Shields and the list goes on. There's so much talent. And we had two great fights that we could put on and, and, and it's happened and it, it will be a sellout next week and it will be the first time in, in, in British boxing history and that's special and uh, I can't wait. For me, Shields Marshall yeah. is... Mayor Baumgarner is a great fight, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Shields Marshall is something I've never seen before so as a boxing fan. I'm so excited. I was with Savannah this morning. I managed she to get good. over there to Congleton this morning. I just wanted to make, yeah, have a look at her and she, she's thinking in unbelievable shape I've never seen someone just she's so impenetrable now in yeah. the sense like nothing phases her she knows she's a star yeah. she, she she understands who she is and what role she plays now and oh that fight is incredible I think it's got everything can't and, wait. yeah I can't wait for <laughs> we'll next see week see you next week